Uh, let's move on. Central Michigan went one and eleven last year, zero and eight in the conference. They returned four guys on offense, four starters on defense. Head coach uh, Joe Bonamago, which is such a fun, fun name, uh, went to bowl games in his first three years. They bottomed out last year. Uh, in 2018, they had the third least returning production in the country. They went one and eleven, and he got canned. And now enters Jim McElwain. Fresh off of the Florida debacle and being on staff with Jim Harbaugh, I like McElwain as a coach, especially in a position where he doesn't have to worry about media. He doesn't have to worry about all – like, he's he's just got a coach. Well, he right? didn't have to worry about media last year. But no, no, no. And he, I think he did fine at Florida. Like, at, he hell, it was Florida last year. And not at Florida. At, uh, Michigan. at Michigan. I think he did fine at Michigan. I don't know. That offense wasn't great. It. It wasn't great, but it was light years better than what they had been. I don't know if it was light years better than what they have been. I thought it was light years better. I, I thought, I mean, I, good. They, they went 10-2 and two last year. Because of the defense. Like, lost to uh, a a college football playoff team that went undefeated on the road, and then they lost on the road to the Big Ten champs. Yep. Like, I, I, I understand that. That wasn't because of the offense. And it, and it wasn't because of McElwain. Like it, it, McElwain really didn't have a whole lot to do with I don't anything. Think, I don't think he did anything to make that team no. better last year. Uh, Central Michigan has got quarterback Quentin Dormady, a transfer from Tennessee and Houston. Eh, I mean, it, you know, he's going to be starting at quarterback, and I don't know what else they got, really. You know, I mean, they, they four guys back on offense, but they do have some experience and whatnot. But, man, they were just dreadful last year. Uh, they were number 36 in total defense last year. They were number four in the country against the pass, but they lost both of their starting cornerbacks to the NFL uh, early, actually. So uh, this is this is a difficult one for me. I think that Central Michigan has got some wins on this schedule. I've got them at four and eight. Holy cow! And I, I've got them two and six in conference. I got them. At, look, I got them beating Albany, beating Akron, beating Eastern Michigan, and beating New Mexico State. Like that's that's where I think that they are right now. That I think they can win those toss up games at home, and I think a lot of that's on Jim McElwain. Like I think he can actually coach. I, I don't, I don't know if he can actually coach. I'd like to see it. I, I'll tell you what his problem was at Florida. He wasn't a great recruiter by any stretch of the imagination. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the dude did make two SEC championship game appearances in a row, and then got fired in the middle of the third year. And no, the East was not great. No. But you still got to win the games. You know, he's he's good at winning close games. And I think he can do that at Central Michigan. I think it's going to take a minute for him to get some talent there and 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 do some things. Maybe maybe the transfer method is the right thing. So so they could be better. You know, I I think 1 and 11, 2 and 10. I I, I doesn't I just don't see much from this team. I think their two best players they won one game last year, right? Yeah. One game. 11. And they had two NFL players on that team. Yeah. That that were like good NFL players. Not not like day three, you know. And that was on the whatever. old head coach. But it, I'm just I'm just telling you, talent. Dudes on the field. I don't care about the coaches right now. Okay. At some point in time, dudes on the field had to put helmets on, shoulder pads, and go play football. I, I and think... they had two really good NFL players in a situation where they should have easily been able to win. Two or three, four games. They should. You can win some of these coin flip games. They won none of them. Yeah. I don't know that Jim McElwain is the savior of that. I don't. I'm, and he, I'm not listen, saying he's the in, savior. In I'm not two, going in crazy. In two years, yeah. But from one win to four wins is is quite a bit of difference. In two years, three years, we can have a different conversation. Okay. I absolutely think he is the kind of coach that in two or three years they can be competing for the match. Because I okay. do think he does well when there's not a lot of pressure and no media, you know, uh, responsibilities, and he can just work on football. I don't know that he's a guy that can walk in the door and immediately change things. He's not that young, crazy, innovative, offensive guy that can say, "We're going to flip everything on the script and don't worry about it. What we've been done in before, we're not going to do it all. Nobody's going to know this offense is coming." And and we're gonna hit them hard. We're gonna hit them fast, and, and we're gonna score, and we can get some wins out of our belt. He's just not that guy. It's good. He's a guy that that you can build from, which is a good thing. Yeah. Because what he builds, I think, will last. Okay. That's yeah. that's the difference in the coaching styles. But but I don't think it's happened in year one. Okay, I can understand that. 
All right, so I got them four and eight. You got them what, like two and ten? I got, I got them one and eleven. One and eleven. That makes sense.